this week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to the Wabay area of South Dakota with Ron Serwa and his sons Mike and Matt from Hatley, Wisconsin. Now we will be ice fishing the Glacial Lakes area of that state. And although the region is famous for many species of fish, our sights are set on those monster South Dakota perch. Oh yeah! Right. Awesome. What a big old beast. 75 yards. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Brew Pub Pizza. MBS, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Real Deal Mineral. Cheese, that's right, cheese. We pile over a half pound of premium Wisconsin mozzarella on every brew pub pizza. Tavern style pizza that's all about the toppings. Large nuggets of zesty sausage, roasted vegetables, and sliced and diced pepperoni. Make brew pub pizza your choice for lunch, dinner, or late night snack. Brew pub pizza, satisfying great taste every time. Pick up a brew pub pizza today, available at your local grocer and tavern. Since 1999, McCuffsky Brush Service has been specializing in right-of-way clearing for power, gas, fiber optic, cable lines, and railroads. MBS is your complete brush and tree removal company, and we also clear woods roads and food plots. Whether working on residential tree trimming or commercial projects, MBS utilizes the most advanced equipment and environmentally friendly clearing methods available. MBS, clearing the way to reliable energy. Visit our website for more information. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. It contains less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need for proper gestation. And it's a great way to ensure that your deer are getting the proper vitamins and minerals they need to grow big horns. We started using Real Deal Mineral on our farm this year and the results, well, they speak for themselves. Real Deal Mineral. Check out our website or a dealer near you. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. You know, it seems like most of the outdoor activities we enjoy are deeply rooted in tradition. Kind of like where do you spend the opening day of the gun deer season? Well, on this week's show, we get to take part in one of these traditions with a father and two sons from central Wisconsin as they make their way to South Dakota for their annual ice fishing trip for those monster perch. Hey folks, uh, Mike Serwa here from the beautiful 
town of Hatley, Wisconsin, and we are out here in South Dakota fishing for perch and walleyes and, and whatever else bites, uh, marking fish all day, uh, had cameras down, uh, or markums, and so fish are coming through pretty regular, then you gotta wait for the next bite to happen, and there's a fish. And uh, just put your time in and get your fish. So we're hoping to get a meal. We like to come out here and catch enough fish for a meal and, and uh, go back to the hotel and clean them up and fry them up different ways and, and uh, go back out the next day and do it again. reasonable limits, variety of fish, clean fish, the good eating fish, we like to eat the fish, and the fish are real healthy, real uh, thick fish, heavy fish for the length. Currently the perch limit is 15 per person per day, 30 in possession. The walleyes are four per day, eight in possession, and the northerns are six per day, and 12 in possession and unlike some states in South Dakota each panfish is has its own separate limit so in other words you can catch uh, a limit of perch you can catch in the same day you can catch a limit of uh, bluegills and a limit of crappies which is kind of a nice thing and uh, you know if we take fish home that's that's a bonus but it's, it's not why we're here we like to take home some fresh fish, but we're not here to try to fill the freezer. We're here to try to fill our, our bellies while we're uh, back at our lodgings in the evening. Now there's some structure. That last hole I drilled right towards shore, about 12 feet of water there, and there's some structure. As soon as I put the camera down, a big wall I come right over hit the camera and then backed up and then came with his mouth open and hit again. I think he was trying to eat it. <laughs> Another nice perch. The black chain lure strikes again. inch perch swallowed it we're fishing in South Dakota on a lake called Pius Lake and the fish are on a very tight bite the ones we're catching are pretty nice so we've had fish anywhere from about 8 inches up to 12 inches not setting any records but we got enough for a meal We like to fish with chain lures, and you tip it with a waxy or a spike. The whole idea is that it imitates a minnow swimming head down, and he's he's diving at the grub. So that's always a good, effective lure. Started out as a pelky lure from North Dakota. And now there's a number of people that make similar lures. All of them work good. This happens to be a black one. That's my favorite color. Got a few fish early, uh, and then uh, it seemed like the bite shut off. 
trying a lot of different things. Seems like the only time you, you, you get into them is when an active group of fish will come through and you'll catch two, three at a time. And, and then, uh, you know, the uh, weather is supposed to turn on us, so we're, we're hoping to get into them tomorrow and, and, uh, and see what happens. fish in flour, you dip it in an egg wash, which is basically egg whites and a little milk if you got it. Dip it in panko flakes. First you have to salt the fish because the panko flakes themselves don't have a lot of flavor. And when you cook fish, if you want to see if they're done, just stick a fork in them. It's going to go for another 30 seconds. You always cook fish till they're just done. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter Outdoors, Markham Technologies, Strike Master Ice Augers, and Weiss Realty. The new Extreme Thermal Shelters from Otter feature a new look and unmatched protection from the elements. The fully insulated Pro XT 1200 features a 1200 denier shell built for extreme conditions, while the Thermal Top XT 650 features a 650 denier shell that locks in heat and eliminates condensation. All Extreme Thermal Shelters are built on Otter's legendary roto molded sled and proven oversized square tube frames. The all new Extreme Thermal Shelters from Otter, built tougher, stronger, smarter. Markham Technologies introduces ice fishing to the digital age with the LX Digital Sonar System. Boasting vivid color LCD displays and features not found on other ice electronics, all digital units offer a user-defined display tailored to match the way you fish. An on-screen dashboard that puts critical information at your fingertips and free firmware updates that guarantee your electronics are never outdated. This winter, step into the digital age with an LX Series Digital Sonar Unit from Markham Technologies. Honda power and reliability have been combined with StrikeMaster's legendary ice cutting technology to produce the 35cc Honda Light. Powered by a powerful and efficient engine, the 35cc Honda Light offers first pull reliability and weighs in at a feather light 23 pounds when equipped with an 8 inch laser auger. This winter, pick up a Honda 35cc Light from StrikeMaster, the most reliable and fastest cutting four stroke auger on the ice. Weiss Realty will find the perfect property for you. The entire Weiss team of agents brings expert knowledge from every aspect of the outdoors and specializes in hunting land in rural properties. Whether it's hunting, fishing, farming, logging, or construction, we have the answers to your questions. Buying or selling, hunting or farmland? Contact a land specialist from the Weiss team today. Weiss Realty, we cover a lot of ground. This hunting tip is presented by Real Deal Mineral, where the results speak for themselves. Now over the years there's been a lot of discussion about when is the best time and how to clean a muzzle loader, especially between shots. Now first and foremost, you'll always want to check manufacturer recommendations. Now for me, when I'm shooting at the range, in between shots, I'll remove my breech plug. I'll run one dry patch down the barrel to remove any excess powder and residue left from the previous shot. Replace the breech plug, and then go ahead and load my next shot. Your cleaning procedures in between shots may differ slightly from mine, but the key to achieving accuracy at the range and in the field is to be consistent in your cleaning habits. Now once muzzleloader season is over, I'll typically take my gun completely apart, clean it very well with soap and water, and then lube it with a good bore lube before I put it away so it's ready to go for next season.
For more useful hunting tips, log on to the Real Deal Mineral Facebook page or check out Outdoor Bound TV on YouTube. I'm going to put a tip down in with some wax worms on this one and then I'll put another tip down in with a minnow on it to see see what's going on this morning there's a nice one Welcome right behind the dorsal See, this is where it's kind of like real critical to get going as fast as you can back down there because there's there's fish on the graph. Well, it's day two. Uh, we're back on Pius Lake in South Dakota. We just moved to a new spot. Uh, we're exploring, trying to find some fish. And we finally found a hole that's got some active fish in it, so let's see what happens here. Maybe we can get our limit of perch. They're biting pretty light. I'm using a Haley chain jig with tipped with a waxy and I can tell by the way the fish are acting on the on the screen that they're they're starting to be active because they're they're coming up off the bottom a little bit and and they're biting pretty aggressively. That's a pretty nice perch there. That's probably a nine and a half inch, ten inch perch. Good eating size. A lot of fish down there. I came over here with the underwater camera and I was doing some looking and I found a couple perch swam up to the camera to look at it. So then we we moved over here and started fishing. Gosh darn it. Time for lunch. Yesterday we were here and we really had to slug it out to catch enough fish for a fish fry last night and there's been a weather change you can see it you can feel it the wind started blowing hard and uh, it's the forecast is for storms so now the the fish are 
are really starting to snap. Not particularly a big run of fish right now, but we're catching lots of them. Basically, it's about as fast as you can get your bait down there. We're gonna have to sort through some of these fish to end up with some nicer fish. So right now it's an aggressive bite and we're using wax worms, we're using minnows, we've got tip downs, but it's really, it's, it's too hard to fish the tip downs with the wind blowing the way it is and you can't keep up with them anyway. So uh, we've all switched over to jig poles and uh, we're catching some perch. Again, these are all fairly small ones, so we'll throw most of these back. But uh, we're trying to get enough for another meal tonight. So we've got uh, fishing with light poles, light line, three pound test, and uh, uh, what we call chain lures, which are uh, a, a vertical hanging metal jig, lead jig, with a very lightweight chain on it that mimics a minnow diving for a, a grub. And it seems to be really effective. I don't think the color has anything to do with it. It's just a matter of having one on there. This one, like I said, is black, but any color is going to work on a day like today when the fish are biting. And usually you can tell they're biting because you catch small fish too. When last, yesterday we couldn't catch a small fish because there was just absolutely nothing feeding. Put the cameras down the hole and could see the fish but they had no interest whatsoever so just the odd fish you'd catch. We, we fished a lot of different lakes around Wisconsin and North Dakota and Minnesota and so we decided to kind of strike out so we did a little research and, and we ended up coming to South Dakota about five years ago now so we've kind of made it somewhat of a tradition that we uh, give our wives and girlfriends uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then <clears throat> day after Christmas, the 26th, we get up and we, we head out. So we've been coming here for about five years and fishing this north eastern corner of South Dakota. There's about, oh, I don't know, a dozen lakes that we fished. It seems like all of them got fish in them but uh, it just depends on a given day. <clears throat> There's a little nicer fish. Depends on a given day what kind of fish you're gonna actually be catching. So those are some cleaners, I would say. My sons would say they're too small, but they'll eat them anyway. So we're trying to catch some fish before the weather gets too bad out here. It's, it's become a tradition, uh, this after Christmas thing before New Year's, it's kind of a slack time at, at work. We all work together in the same, same business, so uh, this is an opportunity for us to get together and spend some quality time together. It's low, for us, low stress, you know, it's not like uh, when you're in hunting situations, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of expense associated with those trips and you got a short window you have to try to be successful and in this is fishing so it's it's like it it doesn't matter so it's it's a fun it's a fun deal for all of us and 
we like all the gadgets, so we've got all the, every ice fishing gadget there is, I think. So we like to come out here and try all that stuff out and, and uh, spend some time together. It's a good time. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews, True Fire Releases, Tacticam, and G2 Outdoor Products. This is my life, the weekend warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Well, Mark, I gotta hand it to you. I am loving my True Fire Hardcore. I wouldn't steer you wrong, brother. Not only is this thing extremely accurate on the range, its features are deadly in the field. What I noticed, whether you're sweating shooting does in the early season or shivering when that late season buck comes in, that jaw cannot come off that loop. I love my True Fire Hardcore. Wait, what do you got there? That's a Hardcore Four Finger. Give me that. Not this time, brother. <laughs> the True Fire Hardcore, available at your local retailer. Ben, what do you have on the front of your bow? This is the new Tacticam HD video camera and bow stabilizer, all in one. It features one touch easy recording in a waterproof housing, and it comes with universal mounting with a rechargeable battery. Film your hunt hands-free in full HD. That's incredible. Where do you find those? Tacticam is available to purchase on our website or at an outdoor retailer near you. Tacticam, share your hunt. Fishing equipment provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. Hey guys, congratulations on some great perch there in South Dakota. Thank you for allowing us to make this annual trip with you. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Did I cover it?